Okay, so on Shireen here, we're gonna, she's got a very pretty, pretty face. She's a, she's a young girl, she's got a beautiful structure to her face, beautiful bone structure, nice heart-shaped face, good strong jawline. Let's run through those four areas of, of non-surgical facial rejuvenation. So if you remember, area number one are expression lines, mm -hmm. things that we are, are using Botox and things like that to relax. Common areas, go ahead and scowl here, Shireen, scowl hard or this area over here. She really isn't too bad here. Raise your eyebrows. Some little expression lines over here. Really not bad here. Also, smile. Another common area on the crow's feet. She looks good there. I really wouldn't bother with using Botox on her. Area number two, gravitational changes of tissue. She, she's really quite good over here too. There's a little settling of her eyebrows, not much. A little bit of settling over here. But she's really quite good in terms of of gravitational changes. The main area that, that I see in her case is the area of volume. She's got a great bone structure supporting her face. She's got a great jaw jawline structure. But the one thing that we see is this dark trough under her eyes. And when we wipe the makeup off, we'll see a little bit more, which is creating that shadow under her eyes and taking away from her nice, beautiful eyes and her pretty eyelashes. So this is the one area I'm gonna focus on today, improving the contour in the lower eyelid area, a little bit in the smile lines over here, a little bit of the downturn in the mouth over here. But by doing those areas, it's gonna really improve the whole youthful contour. It's not only something you see from the, from the front, but we see from the side too, she turns her face. You see that sort of flattening go on here, that lower eyelid area. So I'm gonna use the material today um, to, to improve the contour of the whole lower eyelid area. Shireen has, has really quite, now the makeup is off, quite a bit of darkness in that tear trough area. So again, I'm going to use, use the cannula approach because it's better there and it's going to very quickly improve the contour. Looks so right a little bit. Okay. okay. And we can already see the difference between the right, the right, and the left how much better that is. What I want you to do is look straight ahead. So, you know, we've seen Shereen Kay's much, much better, much, much improved contour the whole lower eyelid. And she has quite a darkness, um, just naturally, a little puffiness in the lower eyelid area itself. Actually, this, one is, this is not going to be completely, but that whole contour there on both sides is much, much better. She bled a little more, but still should have, you know, almost no bruising from it. The whole procedure took about 10 minutes to do. We used two syringes of Restylane uh, with a combination of a cannula approach. And, um, and I, I use a little bit of a needle in, in certain areas to, um, to improve the whole overall contour specifically, and she'll look great. Dr. Amron was able to help me with under eye filler. I'm more refreshed and fuller. I have a youthful look and I feel great not having to wear so much makeup. Thanks, Dr. Amron.